Yo, what's up everybody? It's King Wolf. Welcome to today's video. Now, in the previous video, I had someone ask me in the comments, hey man, can you show us cover four beaters? I want to say they were assuming from the same formation that I had showed you guys yesterday. Because I showed you guys the cover three glitches, the cover two glitches, and stuff like that from the West Coast playbook. So today I'm going to show you guys the cover four beater and how to set it up. It's very easy and simple. If you just know how to destroy certain defenses and the matching principles that they use behind them. Now in cover four quarters and cover four palms, they're a little bit different, but I know how they work. It's just, it'd take me an hour to explain to you guys how they work. You know what I'm saying? Does that make any sense? Before we get into today's video, man, make sure you hit the like button. The views is low. The bills are due. Everybody's waiting for Madden 21. Everybody already gave up on Madden 20. Well, you guys watching the video probably haven't. People didn't support my channel, bro. You guys are probably still playing Madden 20. I've been labbing it a lot still because I lab Madden 21 and the stuff that I'm showing you today is going to work the same in the next game. Trust me on that. I've already did the testing and all that. Members exclusive content. If you don't want to wait till next month for, you know, content that's coming, you can see it now on my channel. Become a member today. Okay, so we're going to be back in the gun bunch to like Wolf. Show us the cover four ones, cover four quarters, cover four palms. You guys are having trouble with that defense. I don't think I've ever lost to anyone running cover four quarters or palms as their base defense. Now, all I want to do for this play is I want to put my fastest wide receiver on that side. So let me go ahead and get a uh, Metcalf. I'm going to put more on this side and I'm going to come back and I'm going to put Metcalf on this side. Okay, so more on this side, Metcalf on the right. You can keep Lockett uh, where he's at. You want a good blocking tight end. You're probably going to have to use your best i don't know the ratings with these guys I, I don't go that far into depth but i will tell you one thing when madden 21 does come out i will go in depth as far as the team that i'm going to be using in regs so if you guys are tired of seeing the chiefs you're probably not going to see my gameplays because i'm a passer and i'm going to use my best wide receivers and my schemes to just make it more powerful so if you're a runner you can run a, use a running team if you're defensive use a defensive team because the chiefs are not a defensive team technically you know what i'm saying it's more offensive okay so gun bunch the name of the play the only play you're going to need against cover four quarters and cover four palms is mesh post now we're going to run another one because i'm going to show you guys the concept and the idea of how to get routes open in these coverages but first uh, let's go ahead and do mesh post against cover four quarters we'll do big nickel over g okay now now here it's very simple all you have to do is motion is it precise i want to say it's precise just motion him out Okay, and then depending on the hash and how the defense reacts, sometimes or most of the time, you'll be able to block your tight end. So you'll still have the blockers you need, you know what I'm saying? And as well as routes on the field. So I'm going to be looking left because I'm going to be looking for Metcalf. I'm going to double team this guy and I'm going to see is blocking my tight end going to help? Yes, he does. Right over the top by himself in that cover four quarters. Now you have to motion the, the running back out if you don't. Let me do that same setup without motioning him out. I want you guys to see the matching principles. Now, as we block the tight end and we don't motion him out, let's go ahead and do the same thing. Without the, this guy takes off in the matching principle. Now, I still got behind him, right? But he wasn't by himself. If, does that make any sense? We're shifting the priority in cover four quarters and the matching principles to have to compensate for precise coming to the line. You see the defenders adjusting or whatnot. We're gonna block the tight end. And it, we're gonna run it this way. And we're, we put Metcalf over there so we can get over the top really easy. We What we're doing is we're glitching out the cover four quarters and the match assignments in that defense and leveraging it to our side. You know what I'm saying? So we can get an easy one play touchdown. Now, if your opponent, if you don't wanna hit your opponent with this, I'm gonna show you guys an idea. Let me just show you guys one more time so you guys can see that it works against cover four quarters, okay? And I'm gonna talk to you guys about how to do it and you can run the setup that i'm about to show you guys you can run it from any formation as long as you got the same idea behind it so let's say they're running cover four quarters and he's guarding that route okay so he's guarding mesh post he's guarding b he's not letting you try to throw it over him we're going to come to the verticals play okay and this is what i want you to do think about this from now on when you're playing against cover four, cover four quarters okay on one side of the field which is more we're gonna put him on a slant okay we're actually you know what let's put him on a drag and we're gonna put b on a slant so the idea here is we want to drag on one side and a slant on the other 
What this is going to do is going to leave the drag routes wide open. I'm gonna motion him out. With this combination, this should leave the X route wide open every single time you just go up the field. So what you wanna do for someone that's running cover four quarters on you is you wanna bait him down, okay? So let's say we come the verticals, right? We drag, we slant. Drag on one side, slant. You can reverse this as well. Look, check this out. Let me uh, drag B, slant X, and then I'll motion him out. B should get open right here. Over here. Now B's wide open in this cover four quarters. So what you're doing is you're baiting your opponent, okay? And then when it's time, you bring my mans out over here, and then you're gonna hit him over the top with this play right here. You see what I'm saying? And we just take him over the top and we get the one play TD. Now, what's cool about the way we're setting this up is it's not hash specific. A lot of the beaters that I show you, it's all dependent on the side of the hash that you're on. Now, one of the things that your opponent can do is he can counter that by playing sticks with his zones. When he starts playing sticks in cover four, he pretty much just made a cover four drop. So if he starts doing that, then you start running your cover four drop beaters. I'll try to find a couple in this playbook and I'll post those next. So you'll know to audible to those if you see that he's running cover four quarters, but you see that the zones are backing up like cover four drop. And I'll talk about more about more talk more about it in the next video. So that's probably what I'm gonna work on is the cover four drop variation of how to throw it over the top because you guys know my style. I'm always throwing over the top. I'm always throwing over the top. Okay, so if we're on the right hash, it's still gonna work the same way. You can block the tight end, boom. It's still, I, I want to say, this, yeah, this gonna be, it's going to work the same way, bro. Just throw this over the top, but Russell Wilson going to overthrow him. And, you know, I'm actually surprised because Russell Wilson has been throwing the ball decent in this with this play. For some odd reason, some plays he just can't do it. You know what I'm saying? So motioning out the tight end, blocking the tight end, motioning out the running back, blocking the tight end, leaves this guy open, and it's just money from there. Now, cover four palms is a little bit different. It's going to require an extra adjustment and i'm going to show you guys that right now the only adjustment you're going to need to make is you're going to have to take your running back i mean your wide receiver which is probably going to be locket in this case you're going to have to put him on a streak so if you notice that it's cover four palms we're going to run cover four palms out of big nickel so and i'm going to show you guys the different variations right here so cover four palms let's say we run the same thing right and then we block the tight end cover four palms has a little bit different uh, uh matching principles so where this guy's takes off with him you see that you see what i'm saying i can still beat him but a faster safety a faster corner whoever's uh assigned to him is probably going to keep up with him depending on who they got now to take that away what we're going to do is we're going to streak rb block the tight end and then i want to say yeah we motion out this guy and it should get open right here rb should foil their whole plan right here yeah there it is that see same thing and we can block the tight end as well. Now, if you run the play on the left hash, I don't think you can block the tight end. I think you're gonna have to leave him on his route. But let's go ahead and block the tight end now. We're gonna streak RB, and then we're gonna motion him out. So you see the variation for palms is, now we have to streak RB. You know what I'm saying? And it's good that you guys are learning these plays now, because when Madden 21 drops, it's gonna work. <laughs> you know, it's probably gonna work better. So those are the plays, and then, from here, if you're in mesh, if you want to run the drag, like, like I'm telling you guys, this is what you're going to have to do. Just go ahead and max protect, right? And then we'll slant B, and then what we'll do is streak RB. Now, because it's not verticals, I don't know exactly how the defense will react to this. It's usually verticals that works really well. But right here, X is still open, and he's just, he's not wide, wide, wide open like it is in verticals. So if I come back to verticals, right? You saw how close he was. If I come back to verticals and I drag X and slant B, and I motion him out, right? Then X should be wide, wide open. See what I'm saying? Now look at the, the, the space I have, and I can take off up the field because of verticals and the way it stretches defenses and zones and stuff like that. So those are the plays right there. I wanted to show you guys the different variations that, of what you can do. Remember, when you start running into a problem, okay? You make sure you have routes out there that stretch the defenses zones backwards. So maybe a couple streaks, but what you really want is the drag and the slant combination. This combination is going to open up the field for you dramatically against these defense. I didn't motion them out, so probably not going to have that much space. So you see what I'm saying? I, I didn't have that much space because of that. You, you're going to have to play like the whole motion game and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? But to beat them, it's simple. Just follow my lead, man, and I'm going to take you guys to the promised land. I'm looking right here on spacing. You can even run spacing. The only thing 
that you're going to be looking for is like the open receiver. So right here, RB or B. And they're going to be open pretty much all the time. The only problem you're going to have is if a user recognizes that and stays low with one of the routes. And people that are more advanced are probably going to do that. So, But you can run play, uh, plays like spacing. but uh, And you can run corner strike. I want to say corner strike is pretty good as far as the corner route goes but if the guy uses the corner route as well it's not that great so but i'll just go ahead and show you guys we're gonna streak rb and then we're gonna try to throw the corner route so let's try to throw this corner route i could be completely wrong on this one yeah yeah no 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 it's cover four quarters that it works really good on so in palms you can't throw the corner route in cover four quarters you can throw the corner route. now i'm not going to be using that when i'm playing someone that's running cover four quarters you know what I'm saying? I'm going to be running like the one play TDs. I'm trying to catch him off guard. I'm going to run my slant and drag concepts to beat him. And it doesn't even have to be bunch, bro. You could do it from any formation. As long as you have two routes that stretch the defense with a drag and slant combination. Make sure you guys drop a like on the video. Love you guys, man. Peace.